Hey guys, welcome back to Nebraska. It's September. We're mowing this grass field down. We've got a lot accomplished already. That's good. <laughs> Well, once we get this field done, we'll see. I've got to pick up a um, fertilized wagon of lime. Um, and then I got straw to bell. I got two fields to lime. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, I made a field too. And that's going in wheat. I may plant. I may plant barley in a field to sell. And I just harvest oats out of it, so I'm pretty sure they both need some lime fertilizer uh, and stuff like that. I've got winter wheat seed to pick up, plus grease plus oil um i may get fall barley seed when i'm there but we'll see how how quick things get accomplished um, if if it gets into the 60s, almost 70s today, we'll test this tonight. Uh, the I, I got someone in the shop helping. I, I did get a hold of some people to help me, plus my family has shown up. So, uh, and it, it might be the cattle farm, but I think... I think the cattle farm is going to be a lot more of dairy. I did placeables down to sell milk. Um, I did. So with the outside pasture, the barns, it's going to be, you know, for that. I, I haven't decided what breed. It's either going to be Guernseys or Jerseys. But I will let, hopefully next episode, that happens but I think I just finished up here so let's turn that off turn those on this is another one of the farms that's pre-built on here I decided to drive up through this way uh, yeah that that barn it's not uh, not really usable but what's this back here let's jump down Oh, it's just a yard, because that's a house, that's a house, uh, that may be a house, so yeah, it's kind of one of those bunch of people live back here, but, uh, so we'll let that dry rest of the day, we're going to get this back to the farm, and we're going to jump into the all Alice the Alice because got to get the lime spreader I've learned the 1206 could not pull it when it's loaded so also once I get there I have some questions for anyone that's playing on this map I know the mod and I know what it needs but it didn't work on this game for me um, I'll show you when I get there uh, I'll show you the field one of the fields as we're driving back in this is one of my bean fields backside has a ditch so it looks like I'm going to have to come through on this side. Of course, we just passed one of my bean fields that are weedy and it's just too late in the year. Uh, so I'm, I'm toying with parking on that field there.
parked in the green truck on the road on that side and bring tractors and, gra and gravity or auger wagon in the other way. Uh, we'll see. We, we'll see. Uh, but my goal is next summer, or not next summer, this winter, after fall, and I take some of the the crops in the cell and and all that. I'm whoa. I turned too sharp there. Um, and there's a pole there. I am going to get the cows. I think I'll start with heifers. So that fell be just mowed down. I will um, round bell that. Uh, start with heifers out in the pasture with um, with that, so I can feed them the round bells uh, and possibly a bull out there. And then once I get to the lactators, they'll have a bull. Uh, go from there so one barn of heifers will not have a bull uh calves won't have a bull of course um any bull born on the farm i would sell right away unless i sell one of the other bulls but i just got done disking that field up uh that's the field that i plowed up had to do a waterway because the soil water conservation said that the way that is designed uh, they would like to see a waterway in there and, and stuff. And as you can see, the creek is full. And that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Uh, we've... Well, later today, we'll run to the store. It might be off camera, but... Um, as we got to mow grass. We definitely have to mow grass. Whoa, I didn't drive on that like I wanted to, but hey, we made it across, right? Um, let's park this over here in the yard. I did some lowering of the water right here because every time I went through, it told me I couldn't drive through tall water. And... Uh, I uh, was kind of getting tired of that, so, well, how much, let's see something here, how many acres, that's an eight acre hay field, we're going to take the all the Alice 750 to get the, um, lime trailer because I had the 1206 hooked to it and it sunk in the ground so and I'm pretty sure yep it's sitting right there in the shop hooked to the the tether they were the tether was damaged in their uh, maintenance unit so that's not a bad thing the small field I'd be Put lime on first gave me uh, gotta add corn to it once it's ready it's why it's still hooked up but gave me that little bit of uh, whole crop so the silage would be in there when I mix feed I'm going to try to do the mixture of half hay half half silage um, Possible. I don't plan on putting any straw in it. Uh, that's my goal. I've got an alfalfa field behind the farm, but the way the weather looks, I'm just going to have enough time to get the grass hay done. So I got these next two days, and then it'll rain. Not mean it's going to rain the whole day, but I plan on. The first field I'm going to, and after I get all this lime done, we will be belling straw. Uh, that field's 
that field has a lot. I think I think I'm gonna start off opening it up with square bells to put on top the dairy barn. And then I think I'm going to round bell some. And I think I'll do a little bit different. I'm not going to have a round bell trailer that auto loads. Um, I've got a kick kick bell or two. Um, my I'm going to end up using that Alice that you saw with the bucket. I'll have a spear in front of it, and we'll load it onto the flatbed trailer. So I'm going to try my best to do a lot realism. Not much auto loads or anything else like that. Uh, we're we're going to do it like you would in real life. Uh, we're going to try at least. Sometimes it will change, you know, but we're going to we're going to try our best to do what we can do on a real life scale and not, you know, when it's raining or whatever. It, it does show on the, on the radar um, a lot of rain coming. Next two days, this day, today and tomorrow being nice. And then looks like a lot of rain and maybe one day in October. So, with harvest season coming, and, and I wish I would have had this seen that a lot sooner than I did. Um, I could kill the weeds in that. Um, I don't know how much YouTube anyone else watches. You guys probably do watch other people. But um, the YouTuber Farmer Cop did a little episode. Um, he did it in 19, so he finally did it for 22. Um, tire sizes and farm sim and crop production or destruction. And uh, the 1206 I plan on using for a spray tractor. Um, so the reason I did not spray that yet is the tires are a little wide and it will damage. I, I would lose a lot of yield in that. Um, so for real life role play that I try to do, I'm I'm going to do my best to try to save crop, not damage it. That way I could um, <clears throat> have more yield, more money. I mean, right now with only twenty one thousand and sixty four dollars, I've got to get through to fall, till harvest um, and make the most I can. Second of all. 300 of that monthly comes out because um, I took a $20,000 loan. So I've spent some money since then. But, you know, I don't want to pull a loan to get cows either because I have that. Uh, if we have to, we'll pull a little bit. But I would rather pay this off. So if push comes to shove, you know, I... My switch that I start my tractor with is starting to wear out, so I touch it barely and it cuts it off. All right, why I'm here. Those of you that's watching me that maybe have been on Huber, Nebraska, with you know, like I am, this seed mixer or where you can buy fertilizer seed and stuff, I have the mod. It has changed a little bit because I know it had Pioneer on it, maybe. Um, I don't know what map it came with, but I have it. And let me jump out real well. Let me get closer. Um, the one thing with this mod I've noticed, now I could change it, and I might, um, is you load out right here. But you had to buy the auger to do that. Earlier when I was in the 1206 and came here and I was like, I'm going to buy, I got to buy fertilizer. I really do. 
I'm going to have to fertilize the field. I don't want to buy bags. Um, I want to load it in my Wilmar. And it showed like nothing. But yet it does show this on the map. So if anyone has loaded out of this um, before on this map, um, let me know. If you saw some weird things, I took a picture too because on some of the social media maps I'm on, I'm going to ask the question. Uh, because if I've got to delete it and put the one I have in, I will just so I can buy my um, fertilizer. Seed I'll, I'll do with pallets because that's just what I have going on now. Uh, I've already been up there to the green, granary and sold some wheat or oats. Uh, I run with real life moisture and stuff and crops and yeah, the first load lost me about about nine hundred dollars. I got deducted nine hundred dollars because of that. But uh, hey, that happened in real life too. That's on. That's on. Um. This adjusted. All right. We've got everything adjusted. Um, let's go up north first. Spread that small field. And then come back down to the one I plowed. But yeah, guys, um, let me know if anyone has bought anything from that yet that watches my video. Um, I'm going to. Posted on, you know, other other maps that have people that other face like Facebook or whatever, um, the ones that have built on this one already to see what they've done, if they've got that far. Um, also, may post on the modders itcho and just ask the question. You know, struggling to get anything out of it. You know, I bought an auger, whatever. But so far, that is the only thing I've had an issue with this map. I've, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I, I was on his, I played quite a bit. Matter of fact, I, I do off and on still. Uh, Midwest Horizon uh, that he made, I don't know, that was back, back in 19. Uh, it, it felt, it felt good playing on it also. So. Here's the straw field I have the bell. Uh, so when I seen he came out with this, that's why I went to it. Um, I like thank you all the views that I got the first time um, for the first the first video on this one um, because got quite a few and I thank you for that. I'm I'm working on my goal. I. Uh, I know where I want to get. Like I said in a couple of the videos, we're going to work on to the 500 mark and go from there. I know I don't produce like a lot of people every day and all that, but with real life family and a farm, you tend to not get it but as you can see this is definitely a small field let me make sure it's spreading yep um, I don't know how much it's going to call for I know the field I just worked on or just um, made is not calling for a whole lot, not like this one, but uh, I'm thinking barley may end up in this, but I, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Uh, I know the one next to the house will be wheat. I.
know where the straw is, where the straw is to be built will be um, corn and stuff. So we'll see. Um, I, I wish I had a means of picking up rocks. So I'm hoping this fall or winter I can start with that just because um, – I won't have anything in there like this one will have barley in it. Tell you what, that 1206 struggled to move it. This Al this Alice, it's struggling to move it in this field, but it's so fine. Um, that's... And it's... Of course, it's not 100%, you know, because I have, I do run Precision. I already had them come out and put all that down. But, uh, I do have the mud mods in. So, uh, and these transmissions and this, these are kind of weird, not weird sometimes, but just struggles to stay connected on the ground but it could be the softness of the ground so we'll get it done we'll see how it does in the other one I mean it could be just the fact that it's on I'm going to run out of first person for a while. Uh, I do like how it looks. You can tell I'm not using a whole lot of lime. So it's not that thick on the ground. Um, and that is, that is good. Um, just because the, the more... I could keep up with it, as in, um, on a, you know, the nutrients, one, you yield better, two, I like to know why it's staying in first gear, but hey, um, And we're probably close to finishing. Yeah, I would say we are because there's not much left on that side. We're going to turn that off. And now let's head back closer to... Not the tractor. I wanted to turn everything else off. Head back to the um I want to say the farm because that field's right there and we're gonna spread on that field. That one could be fun. If this one was giving me, you know, softness, like the pH level is perfect throughout the whole field now. And we're out to put nitrogen on, but I'll have to figure out how I'm getting that fertilizer. And that that I plan on maybe spreading on right after I plant. Um kind of thing. So Whoa. I I didn't look, did I? You're supposed to look, right? Huh. That would have been bad. I was I was looking at what was deducted out um, and not paying attention. But hey, we've all been there on this on this game. But I'm planning on by ten o'clock in the game hard, or running straw. Um, I might when I do that 
be on Twitch. Um, I, 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 I don't know if I'll be on Twitch when I'm doing the straw or not, but I will. I plan on being live sometime today. Um, and this is Sunday. Um, or soon. I don't know. Maybe not on Sunday. I'm recording this on Sunday morning. Um, hopefully it's out on Sunday afternoon. But anyhow, I do plan on being live sometime here in the near future. I haven't been live in a while, but I've also struggled for a map that made me feel, you know, that I wanted to play on. So, uh, <coughs> that is what my intentions are. Let's put it that way. Um, so once we get to that field I just worked up, we'll we'll see how that well that spreads. Um, it's not flat ish like that one, and I know this struggled to do that one. Um, so we'll see how that goes. That cornfield is one of mine right there. Um, I'm trying to find one that is the size I want to chop. But with the self-propelled chopper I have, um, it might be there might be one closer. Um, that's these two right here could be what I'll chop. Um, I don't mind being a little further away to chop because I can run it back and forth. Um, like I said, that bean field I should have sprayed it um, in August. I don't think it'll happen now unless I lease a sprayer. Um, but I don't even have the chemicals yet either. So, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. But as you know, woke up this morning, looked at the weather and went, all right, let's mow grass hay down. So we did. Um, and now I'm getting things ready for fall planting. And, uh, then we'll look at the look at it because if I can hook the drill up to this, I guess, and uh, get barley seed in it, we'll go plant that eight that little acre spot with barley, and then wheat will happen in a month. But I, I've got to get fertilizer first. I guess I could spray liquid fertilizer on. Why I'm figuring that out. Because these these can do both. And I, I, I don't know. I guess if I own that area, maybe I'll place... Maybe I'll place something that I can get fertilizer out of um or if it can be deleted delete the mixing shed that's there and add the one i have which i know works so we'll see i'll see what people say first before i get that far but uh like i said if this grass will grow which I'm starting to wonder, um, be great for landscaping. Maybe it's a low grass, you know, a lower grass height anyhow. Um, it would be, it would be good. I think it would work. As you can see, the tractor's still sitting there. Um, 7810. I, I changed tractors because of how things were going with that. Um, the one I first used was, it, it wasn't, wasn't, it wasn't showing dirt with all the ground that I worked up and now I am going to run this one like this and let's see. Now we'll stay, well, yeah. I want to see how, and as you can see, it does go uphill. So I want to see what it does 
um, being I'm running that mud mod, so now I'm going to watch it like this. Um, because coming back down the field, it should work better. Now it's it's kicked in. Um, and it's not like I'm not moving at all. I mean, I, I really am, you know. And and it could be, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's... And I think I've done a lot of that, adding the, the mud mods and everything, just because... Um, and 25, we're going to have some sort of mud stuff. And I like it because in real life, if it rains, it turns muddy. Or you're, you're not going to go out in the field because you're going to mark it up. So... As you can see, now I'm more on a level ground it, it would want, and it's working like it should. So I think it's just being on loose dirt and and all that. So, but yeah, we're we're working on getting getting ready to plant this fall. All right, my goal is to get to the cows and for the most part make more money a more steady income from the dairy cows than um from crops and stuff but having a little bit of crops to sell a lot of the crops going back to the cows, as in straw, hay, silage, um, kind of thing, and then going from there. So that's that's my goal. As you can see, it did straighten up once I got on better ground. So I don't know, but uh, I think why we're finishing this day out. Um, putting the lime down, getting everything ready to plant. I think I'm going to call this a video. Um, hopefully the next video um, I have, have or will be getting ready to get cows. Have the straw belled. Um, well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll finish this field first because I do want to look to see if barley what can be planted right now um we will have to wait um and i don't know what else i can plant in the fall and i don't want to do like a cover crop kind of thing because to me that's That's well. If I wasn't putting wanting to put wheat out in the field, I think I would definitely consider that on something that I will be something that I will be putting corn into. I think that would be a, a good a good test. I really do. Now, I've got to kind of watch the waterway uh, in the one area. I'll show you why here in a minute. Did I go out far enough? Yes, I did. Um, the reason I made a waterway the way I did and not just what I planned on was what you'll see in a minute uh where i'm located i built the farm because 
this field was, like I said, just a green space. This whole area was. So I made it look the way it does. Added the water. Um, you know, made this field. And, uh, well, we'll see how this works. Uh, reason I say that is I don't know one if horseplay would plant this very well. Um, I'm hoping this tractor works better than this planting wise because it could be fun. But right here, and you'll see why here in a minute, I could not get a tractor over that very easily planting, or not planting, when I was working up ground. Um, it, it struggled. So I made it a little bit better looking for, um, for a waterway. And I think, Let's see if it spreads any here, but I doubt it. I I knew I would have some left over in here. I really did. Just because um I may have to use the, no, oh, okay. I'll have to use the John Deere maybe a little bit more than I want to to, you know, sides just working up. Whoa. All right. And that is tarped. Um... Well, I think, oh yeah, that's safe. Um, I want to look to see what's able to plant the next couple months. Because that other field up there, is, um, what's confusing me that I'm going to do. So, we're in September. <sighs> Planting season. I could plant barley right now, which I've talked about that one. Um, alfalfa, grass, grass. Um... I think we'll do barley up there. And oats I will put in one of the bean fields that I'm running now. Um, and that would go, barley I'll sell, wheat I'll sell, oats I'll keep. So, um, yeah, that's a plan. I can plant oats. I can start planting oats. And then go and soybeans, real or oats, and then soybeans at the end. I can get the corn done and go soybeans. So that's the first time I looked at the um, planting schedule. But uh, well, anyhow, guys, like I said, I'm gonna go live on Twitch. I don't know when, um, but I I will. Uh, I will. hopefully see you on the next video In the next video I plan on having um, cows even if it's just heifers um, and hopefully we're 
we're we're getting into some sort of harvest um even if it's uh yeah hopefully we're getting into some sort of our harvest the next next video so um anyhow guys have a great rest of your weekend and uh we're we're gonna put this in the barn and then um we're we're gonna figure out what we're well we're gonna go bell hay or straw. That's what I'm gonna do. But uh yeah, if you guys haven't checked this map out, I think now you know it's a good good time to check it out. I'm just gonna turn it off there for now, but uh Yeah, it's doing a lot better than what the other um, John Deere I had. At least it's starting to show stuff. And I think, and uh, yeah. We'll see you next time. Like I said, let me know if you guys play on this map, that if you got any of the fertilizer and stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time. Oh,